Hey y'all, this is Chris Powell coming at you with a how-to video, and if you fish a crankbait like I do, meaning beating up against stumps and rocks and all that good stuff, they're eventually going to get out of tune. So today I'm going to show you how to properly tune a crankbait. Okay guys, so I got a crankbait that needs to be tuning. I've been catching a lot of fish on it, hitting it against rocks, stumps, and all that good stuff, and it has finally went out of tune. And how you know that it's out of tune is it's going to run way over there or way over there. It's not going to be coming straight back to the boat. It's not going to be running true back to the boat, all right? And uh, I'll just show you real quick. This guy, it just likes to run way over there like that. You see it going all the way to the right like that? That crankbait right there, well, plus it had the hooks wrapped around the line. But you get the idea. It's not going to be running straight back to the boat. It's going to be going way right or way left. So... As you saw there, I'll do, I'll do it one more time so y'all can see, that this guy, it's running way over yonder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pliers here, and I'm not going to be messing with the split ring, okay? I'm not actually grabbing the split ring right here. I hope y'all can see that there. I'm going to be grabbing this little guy right there, and I'm going to turn it back left, okay? And I'm just barely going to move it. That's all you need to do just little bitty moves and tweaks like that it's going to make it do a lot of different things okay so now let's try it out again okay it's still going way right so let's try it again we're going to move it just a little bit more just going to grab our pliers here let's try that And that right there feels pretty good. It's still going to the right just a little bit. I'm going to hit it one more time here. And you basically just got to sit there and kind of play with it until you get that thing tuned straight up and down. And it doesn't matter if you buy a $15 lure or if you buy a $4 lure. Okay, guys? They're going to get out of tune. And uh, you can do this with a square bill, a round bill, a deep diving crankbait. You can tune them all the same. So I'm just going to make my short little cast right there. And that right there, it's running pretty dang true back to the boat. Make just a short little cast again. And that right there is what you want. Just like that. Man, that reel sounds awesome, don't it? <laughs> She's got a lot of miles on her. This is actually one of my first reels I ever picked up. Okay, guys, that, that right there is exactly how you tune a crankbait. Again, it's real simple. If you throw it out there, just a short little cast, and it's running way to the right or way to the left, you just need to get those pliers in and twist it the opposite way that it's going to get it running back tr straight and true. That way it can reach the maximum depth, okay? Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that helped y'all out. Uh, this time of year, I'm throwing a lot of crankbaits, and they get out of tune really easy just by going up against a rock, a stump, anything like that. When you're aggressively ripping them out of grass and stuff, they're going to eventually get out of tune. Okay, uh, I really hope that helped y'all out. If y'all have any questions, comments, just leave them in the description. Find me on Facebook, and like the video, please subscribe. Catch y'all later.